Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. This is series four, episode three. And all in this series, it's all about having fun between races. And a lot of that doesn't have to always be you out there as an individual racing or sort of running. It can be volunteering, crewing, helping out in your local club, in your local community, and putting something back into the local community. So yeah, this race, this video features me as a crew uh, for Sarah, who was setting off to do this quite incredible 100 mile foot race all the way from London to Oxford. Yeah, part of the Centurion running um, sort of races they do, are these 100 mile races. So it's absolutely mind boggling distance, just incredible thing. And yeah, it sees Sarah, as I say, try and accomplish this huge goal and hopefully to break 24 hours for the distance. So yeah, follow us on today, join us. Uh, yeah, next time you see us, we'll be back in May early this year on the banks of the River Thames. So yeah, follow along. We've got an amazing video coming up. Good morning everybody, you join us on the banks of the River Thames here in Richmond because it's the Thames Path 100 mile race. So we've got a little bit of a different video for you today because I'm going to be crewing Sarah, my girlfriend here, as she embarks on 100 miles from Richmond all the way up to Oxford along the Thames. So we've checked all the bags in and pretty much ready to go. There's about 10 minutes before the start line just here. So. Just going to have a little chat with Sarah about her goals and uh, what she's trying to achieve out of the day. So, Sarah, what what are you what are you hoping for? Um, well, I did it last year in 26 hours, so I'd quite like to just do it in under 24 to get the special buckle. The special sub 24 hour buckle, which Centurion give away for everybody that manages to complete the course in yeah under 24 hours. And yeah, why you know we'll, I ran it last year not the greatest race in about 22 and a half i think um so yeah oh if i could beat ben's time that would be even and that's be kind like of sarah's a goal to beat to beat my time and yeah it's the first time sarah's done a 100 mile race with a crew as well just me um so yeah hopefully that's going to give that little bit of an advantage have your own food out there prepared and ready to go rather than having to rely on the aid stations which are fantastic of course the centurion don't want to knock the centurion aid stations but sometimes having your own so the food, some hot and cold food options, ready to go with someone out there that you know to support and cheer you on as you get through. Right, we're going to head down to the start line, see everybody off, and then yeah, I'm going to be jumping in the car up to the first aid station. And where am I going to be first, Sarah? Wallington. Wallington, or Raysbury as oh. it's called, uh, which is about 22 or 23 miles into uh, the route. So yeah, at least I know what I'm doing. Sarah's just got to keep, keep up with the person in front. Just seen everybody off. So much amazing atmosphere there on the start line. Uh, yeah, just all those hopes and dreams of running a hundred miles. So many first timers. A lot of people use the Thames Pass for their first hundred mile because they think it's sort of flat and it's going to be a little bit easier. But I think, in fact, it is one of the hardest because it's so flat all the way. You're talking about 330-ish meters of elevation over a hundred miles. It is just mind-numbingly stuff it gets to your head after a while but anyway we'll talk about the sort of mindset and things later on as we go i've got to get in the car because the first crewing station is actually 22 miles into the run in raysbury so i'm going to head out there now and uh, yeah hopefully get a little run in there myself uh, because we're going to get there a little bit earlier um, and yeah get a little, little run in sit get everything out set out and then we'll wait for sarah to come in right i'm going to get driving and we'll see you out there Right guys, so just getting my uh, first run of the day done. Not sure how many runs we're going to be doing today. But yeah, just sort of between checkpoints when I've got a little bit of time. Got to squeeze the run in, got to get the training in myself as well, as well as doing all the crewing. So yeah, a little 12k this morning. And then yeah, get back quickly and hopefully 
yeah, get back in time for seeing Sarah coming to the first checkpoint. Right, gonna get this run finished up and then we'll see Sarah. So here we are into the first, or oh, actually the second crew uh, checkpoint, because we didn't go to the first one. Sarah's just got in, how are you feeling Sarah? Yeah, good. I don't really know what I want, but... I've got all these goodies on selection laid out. Mm. Have you filled up your water? Yeah. So no liquids. I'm feeling like nine minutes walk. No, nine minutes run, one minute walk. Yeah, it's working all right? Mm. So I can see you in 6 miles or 30 miles. Right guys, so we are about 34, or we are, I suppose I am kind of 34 miles in. Uh, Sarah's just arrived and feeling pretty strong. Her bum's hurting a bit, her glute muscles are a bit tight. But yeah, stretching those out and yeah, carrying on getting it done. So quick refuel, got some uh, sort of science support Rego on board and the weather's turned really sort of nasty. It's raining, so we're kind of sheltering under this tree at the side of this, I was going to say busy road, now there's nothing here. Uh, um, but yeah, everything is going kind of on plan so far. What's the pace like at the moment, Sarah? I've literally no idea. No idea, but I'll put it up on the screen when I look it up later. But yeah, kind of nicely on target pace at the moment. Right guys, as you can probably tell, the rain is really coming down right now. I'm just gonna keep the camera out the uh, rain. So, loading up. Loading up the boot with all of this gear in my tight little car, which really does not fit anything in. So yeah, right. Yeah, Sarah, pretty good spirits there. Let's go this side, it's a bit lighter. Sarah's pretty good spirits there. Sort of slight issues, you were saying, but nothing uh, to be concerned about. Yeah, 35 miles in, bang on pace. Right, I'm gonna get inside, get warmed up. My hands are so cold. And uh, yeah, we're, now we're off to Marlow. So right guys, so we've made it to Marlow, a really pretty town in Oxfordshire. I want to say, I should really know that. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so this is 43 miles in. The next crewing checkpoint will be halfway. It is so cold today and the raining. I'm just uh, here updating some of my clients' training plans. The beauty of working from your laptop. Okay, so by this point, um, I was about 30 miles in and had a huge blister on my little toe. Um, I'd seen the medical team at the previous aid station and they wouldn't pop it, quite rightly so, they didn't want it to get infected, um, but I just couldn't go on unless it was popped. So, I mean, part of why we do these races and why me and Ben love them so much is because you can stand on the start line and not have any idea what's going to happen you don't know if you're going to finish you don't know what it's going to throw at you and it's just about managing the adversity that is thrown your way um, and in my case it was making the decision uh, to pop the blisters myself I just used the safety pin that was holding my number together and popped the blister it was yeah like I just had to get it done I, I, I felt like I couldn't go any further unless I'd done it and yeah, it was absolutely the right thing to do. It kept me in that positive um, mindset. And yeah, that's just one of the things that you can't train for. You don't know what's gonna happen. And that's why you love the distance so much. You can be, you can train as much as you want. You can be a super fast runner, but that doesn't necessarily mean that you're gonna have success over that distance. Um, Right, so the blisters are patched up and Sarah's back on her way, limping a bit, but we're going to reassess at Henley. Right, left over the bridge and then right the other side. Yeah, she's not doing too well. Just some blisters in her shoes that have never in hundreds and hundreds of miles given her an issue. Down here, down here, down here. And then uh, left, left over the bridge in uh, 
Yeah, in the hokers that have never ever given her an issue for a single second, but. Right, we've made it to half, well, over halfway. We're at 51 miles and the halfway checkpoint. Sarah's getting some pasta down. It's great. And uh, <laughs> refueling. We've got some leggings on and a big sort of woolly, not woolly, a big jacket, try and keep warm because it is getting freezing. It's only about three or four degrees at the moment. So yeah, blister issues. How are the blister issues? Um, not great, but not great, but we'll get it done. we're getting it done, and everything else is feeling pretty good. So yeah, nicely ahead of pace um, as well. We've got about an hour and a half in the bank. Sarah. Oh, I thought it was a photo. Um, well, 15 seconds here. Okay, it's great, really great. Really great. And how far in? I don't know, my watch is in my bag. So, I don't know, 60? Lots no, of great information here. 58. 58, and that means 42, 42 to miles to go. It's approaching 10 o'clock at night, and yeah, nicely on pace, just getting some snacks on board. Okay. And getting it done. Uh, um, it is just after 10 o'clock at night we're at Reading and Sarah is doing really well just come in really high spirits blister problems they haven't gone away but really not playing on her mind and yeah it's all going to plan uh, pretty well some pretty sorry sights um, you know it always kind of is the same with these 100 mile races just as you get into the night people really start to sort of struggle the mental game really comes in so a few little pep talks i do kind of sometimes think who am i to talk tell people how to do this but yeah a few little pep talks with some people out there just trying to encourage them on yeah everybody working together the centurion crew is so good it's so nice to see the community at all of these days all right guys a little quick check-in so we're in pangbourne sarah's just come through uh, yeah, doing really, really well, which is so amazing to see her spirits are really, really high. And yeah, in this car park here, two years ago, I puked my guts up on this race. And uh, last year, I also puked my guts up in this race. So this car park doesn't have the best memories for me in the world. But yeah, still nice to be out here and super proud of her for coming through so strong. Right, now we're off to Benson. Sarah's got a few checkpoints to go through. Uh, the, the sort of eight stations are quite close together here. So she's going to go through those. I'm going ahead to Benson to get some sleep. All right, see you in a bit. Bye. Ah. You're going the wrong way. It's that way. It is obviously about half past midnight and yeah as i said i've just driven ahead up to a place called benson um which yeah it's given a leapfrog on sarah about 15 miles and yeah she's got three different a stations to go through so yeah she's going to be well looked after between now and then and yeah it's give, going to give me a good chance to get a bit of shut eye and yeah get my head down for a bit so yeah gonna have a sleep now for a couple of hours and uh yeah it is only what are we seeing there three degrees some runners coming past here right guys as you can see it is 20 past one 20 past one 20 past three in the morning it's one degree outside and yeah i've been fast asleep for a few hours so much so that i've actually missed sarah coming through but she did come she did come up to the car um, and didn't need anything, so didn't want to wake me up. And she's uh, she's been and gone while I've uh, had my head down. So here we are, guys. We're at no 89 miles. Uh, it is about six o'clock, one minute past six in the morning. At 89 miles, obviously 11 miles to go. Sarah's coming, and this is the final time I'm going to see her out on the run. Although I will see her uh, very near the end. For the small run in yeah bang on target for the sub 24 and Sarah's still moving really well everything's going pretty good the race is kind of she was just saying the race has got a lot better for her as it's gone on getting stronger with all the sort of issues and things in the first half of the weather and blisters and things it's just sort of getting better and better so it's going to be a really nice finish which is very rare in a hundred mile race so yeah just going to get some more food on board and then she's got two more uh, regular checkpoints to go to through 
and then it's the finish in Oxford and the sun is actually coming out. It's looking like it's going to be a really nice day, although it's still freezing cold. Right guys, we'll sum this one up here and Sarah's going to say a quick goodbye. We'll see she... you in the next one. We'll see, <laughs> see you in the next one. Right, kiss goodbye. In the final mile. We're not going to give away the time just yet. So how are you feeling, Sarah? So awful. So awful, but happy. But happy. Because it's nearly done. It's nearly done. Still moving well. Mm -hmm. Ready for another little push for the finish. Yeah. Marching on. <laughs> the race just continues to get better and better. Not really. But nothing this girl can't do. Right, we're going to carry on running. It's a run! And we'll see you at the finish. There we have it guys, what like, the most incredible race. Just such a privilege for me to be following Sarah along on that epic journey, just the mind boggles. And it just goes to show there's nothing that special about myself or Sarah and some of the things that we've been able to accomplish. It's just hard work, just getting it done out there day after day and a dream of just wanting to find out where those limits are. And if we don't keep pushing ourselves every single day, to find those limits, how will we ever know what's possible? So yeah guys, whatever your dream is, whatever you think, whether you're scared to get down to try your first park run, you wanna run a marathon, you wanna run a 50K, you wanna 100, 100 miles, 200 miles, that might be on the cards very soon coming up on this channel. You know, you never know unless you try. You just gotta dip your toe in the water and give it a go, hard work. And as always guys, we're here for all that help and support you need and yeah, Finally, a massive, massive thank you to all of you guys out there for the likes, the shares, the comments, buying the hats, the merch, and everything to make this channel possible. And of course, all the Patreons out there as well. We'll put your names up on the screen. So yeah, we've got some amazing things coming up on the channel scene, and we can't wait to bring that all to you guys. So yeah, keep working hard, keep grinding away, and keep on getting it done. That's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video, and we'll see you in the next one.